All right, live. I always want to say live, but we're not really live. We're, we're live. live now. We're live now. Yes. From the WCSB studios in beautiful downtown Hasbro Heights, New Jersey. Hey. Where the sun never goes down. Mike McSee, okay. Joey B with the dwindling weeks of the ACFL. The yeah, very it's much this so. This week and it's a dwindling not week. Not many, not many uh, teams left. Playoffs start. All divisions are now in this mix. Round of their, two. Round two. Oh, except for the touch. Except, except for the for touch, touch. They start their, their uh, playoffs this, this week. This week, yes, they do. Second round, four. So we get to see some of these higher seeded teams now start coming in. Mm -hmm. Should be an exciting week. So let's start with the scores last week. Now, oh, remember, right, that sir. was first week for Six on Six Flag. Yep. Those were kind of like playing games, right? Kind of. There were some buys. Yeah, it was like the seven versus ten, eight there. versus nine. You know, so you had the the bottom of, bottom of the uh, barrel there, I guess. Yeah. Well, anyhow, let's let's start. Uh, bankers, thirty five Trojans, nothing. Bankers are hot. Bankers are a little hot, but you know what? Watching this game, I don't know. Trojans, they gave up a, a interception for a touchdown early in the game. I don't know. They just... Now you you filmed this game, right? Yeah, did Mike, uh, our other guy, Mike, was out there. He now, filmed it. W did the Trojans have a team there? It looked like, I mean, they had guys on the field. It, I didn't really, you know, check out the sidelines too much, but I don't know. That's 35 nothing in a playoff game. That's, that's they got to get some dedication on this team, you know? Maybe that, that seems to be the problem. These, they start off hot. They always have a lot of guys, middle of the season. Guys have other commitments. You know, they got to get the commitments. That's what these really good teams in every division is. They have a, a, a core nucleus that is always there that they can count on. You got to have that. You know, bankers. Picking up a little momentum here now. Maybe, you know. Uh, I mean, I what know, are they, like? Fool's gold? Are they, or? Well, what are they, like five, six in a row now? Something five, like that, yeah. They finished five, what, they finished five and three? Something, I don't know. Okay, well, they finished, but they won four in a row to right. get to five and three. Now they won here, so they've ripped off five in a row. Right, let's hope that they can, you know, they build on this and that it wasn't just, uh, hey, their last five games were, were the bottom feeders. So, you know? hey, Will and the Bankers. Yeah. Well, you got to give it to them a little bankers, bit, right? Yeah, there we go. On to the second round. But we'll see what happens now when we yes. do the second round. That's Wolf knows. And we'll, now, listen. I never thought I'd say this. I'm ready to run up the white flag on the Wolf game. Yeah. You know, we, I, we've I talked about them now it. for three seasons, pretty much. End of, end of last fall, going into the spring. I don't know. They... they they seem like they got the athletes on the teams. They seem like they got a, a, a pretty decent quarterback back there. You know, we've talked about his accuracy a little bit, but right. can scramble a little more? I don't know, man. They, they... You know, I got to tell you something, too, because I watched this game on film. Okay. And the Wolfgang reminds me of a patient that's bleeding out. Yeah. Because they're in the game, but as the game progresses, they seem to, I don't want to say get weaker. Right, right. But they just aren't as sharp as they are. They played their best football in the first half. Yeah. Seems like in the second half, they start to go south. The one thing I saw with them, they really need to, this offseason for them, they need some offensive linemen. You know, uh, that quarterback shouldn't be scrambling for his life that much. They need some beef up front to compete with some of these, you know what, some of these listen, big, bigger they, teams. They're, bigger, be, they're teams. beat. They got some beef up front, but you know what, honestly? Their blocking is not great. Yeah, that's the thing. You know, these Their guys. Their blocking like, is not great. If your quarterback doesn't have time, yeah, he can run and run and run, but you know that that's only going to get you so far. That's going to get you to where they were. What two, three wins maybe this year? Bounced out in the first round of the playoffs again. So beef up that line, work on that blocking. I think this team, because we've said it, their defense is is, is good. Is okay. You know, is good. Twenty points. You know, um, their offense is good, but you know the athletes are there. They just need. That quarterback needs some time. Well, and then, now we got to give some kudos to the team that won, though. Of course, yes. Wolf yes, Nose yes. put up 20 points. They looked. They played a solid game. Yes. Yep. They played is... a solid game, and uh, they won the game. Yeah, so right, now to, they're, they're going to they're gonna move right up. There. The Wolf Gang's going home until the spring. Yeah. Next game. Now, I did this game, and I, and I okay. really got to tell you something about this Bulldog-Uso game. All right, the USO sir. game. Uso. Uso should have won the game. Really? I am telling you, Uso had, and I... Oh. And I got to give him a shout out because once again, these guys played hard. Right. Three turnovers. Oh. Now listen to this. They were down 20 to 14 at, at this point in the game. Oh, wow. All right, 20 to 14. Okay. Bulldogs had third to the 20 from midfield. Okay. So they had to go 20 yards to get a third down. Right. They got the first down. 
They had him third down with goals to go from the 18 uh, on the same drive. Not so much. Gave up the touchdown. Uh, that's that's, that's Uso, demoralizing after a while. It really you is. Know? And, that, and that's within and the last five minutes of the game Ooh. because if they get the ball back, who knows? Right. Now, Uso, 14 points. Quarterback had a ball picked in the end zone earlier in the game. Mm. So I said, if any one of those three, it's kind of like Trump had to win Pennsylvania, Ohio, and Florida. If I just had to throw that in. I know you did. Um, if they would have gotten one of those three things to happen. Right. Okay. We had a hot argument about the election before we came on the air. So I had to get my Trump slug in there a little bit. I'm sure we're, we got a ways to go yet. He'll find a way to Clinton. I know. But anyway, so this is how close the USO is. Their quarterback played very well. Okay. He threw the ball well downfield. He hit some seam passes, which earlier in the season, I didn't see that. All right. So, so this kid might be on the up, and they're very right, young. Good. They're very young. But, kids. you know, this, this has been a team together. So they have played together before, which is nice. You know, they've been in other leagues. So let's hope. Hopefully they come back next year, and they build off of this. You know? And I'll tell Again, you what. I've seen them, be, I've Bulldogs, seen them out there. Bulldogs, you guys... You made the, the third You're down it, huh? from midfield. You got the third and 18 for the touchdown. But I will say, you guys won a game. Congratulations. Allen forgot the cooler again. Oh, Allen. But they let him play. They were, they were right to get beat that day. They were right. right to get beat last Sunday. Yeah. And, and the USO team needed to be a little tighter. And I, they had a great shot of pulling this week, the it, it, They got a rough one this week. But so. the Bulldogs win the, the game. Cooler. And they get to go. You better bring two coolers this week, co Allen. Cooler. And the weather was fantastic again. Yes. Okay, so now let's go over to the six on six. Right. The Bears. Um, More of what was the week before. You know, these guys played actually last week, mm -hmm. you know, leading up to the playoff game. And uh, pretty much pretty much same, same, same thing as, as last time. Now, before we, we go to our next game, we're going to put up a little clip of the Bennett brothers from last week and their prediction for their game. Just check out this clip, it's very short. In all honesty, if our defense come to play and we play with our heads on our shoulders, we'll probably win this game if okay. Oscar's not there. Because Oscar, the when we played him week two, he was the X factor in that game. With a, look, two big returns and him at quarterback and getting a couple of first downs that we couldn't stop. And the deadly assassins lived up to their prediction. Yes, they did. As they knock off the Yambis, 30 yeah. to 19, they came. I was at the uh, Watessing, w excuse me, Watessing Park. Right. And uh, they were over at the Brookdale, which Brookdale, is yep. what, 10 minutes away, yeah, maybe. Right there. And they came over to watch uh, a, a friend of theirs in the next game. Okay. But they gave me a blow by, I tell you, the Bennett brothers had not come down yet. Yeah, oh, I could imagine. They man. were they still played, sky high. They played a great game. They this played was a, very they well. They played a really great game. You know, they, you know, I don't know if it was. They came on here. Now they're too big. They don't want to come on anymore. They, they wrote to me and said, can't make it this week. They win, a, they win one game in the playoffs, and now they're too big to come on the show My, anymore. Michael, oh. Michael Bennett said something to me at the end of the game, which I thought was very funny. He asked me, how many game films do we have of the All-Stars 6-on-6? Six six? Because a that's lot. their next yeah. opponent. Oh. So he told me he was going to watch everyone. We're, we, are, we are plotting a way to stop Lane. Good luck with that. Uh, you know, and, uh, but you know what? I love their enthusiasm. Yeah, hey, man. They, they're a bunch of young guys, and they're out there having fun, and it's a good lesson for some of these yeah, other Yeah, you know, I didn't realize like, last teams. week we found out these guys have been in this league for like six years, you different know? They had the different teams, around. team folded up on them last year, and they were like, you know what? We're going to get this together. We're going to have it all straightened out. We're going to have a team. These guys want to play, so that's great. So they, and they're that's psyched up, and, you know, I, I get, a, I get a, a bye week this week. All right. I had ref like six weeks in a row. So I get a bye, but I might go watch a couple of games just for that. Yeah, there's some really good games. We'll get into that. You know, but uh, we're gonna we're gonna take a quick break now, quick and break. when we come back, it was the final week for the of the touch, and some things happened there. Some things, yeah. Not all good. No. Uh, we'll be right some back. Things. Hey, Joey B here, and Mark Perrone's hairstyling salon in Morris Plains, New Jersey, and I guess, Mark, I, I have to interrupt you. I guess I caught you at a bad time. Joe. What makes you what you are? First of all, Joe, when you come in here, you're part of the family. We make you feel that comfortable. 
Whether you're a young kid, older gentleman, or one of my hair piece customers, we make you feel at home here at Mark Perrone's. Now, well, we do men's hair replacement, custom hair replacement. Uh, we do uh, little kids are our favorite. We do some women haircuts, but uh, basically it's a men's, a men's barbershop. Back old school with new, with new flair. It's a nice atmosphere and you are all welcome from everywhere. Here's the guy, here's the man. Uh, he uh, owns the shop, cuts the hair, sweeps it out every once in a while too. Yeah. Joey B from Mark Perrone's. Come on in and get yourself a nice do. Open Tuesday to Friday, 10 to 7 p.m. Saturday, 8.30 to 5 p.m. Sundays, 10 to 3 p.m. Closed on Mondays. So, final week of the Touch League, and I yep. got to do and I got to do one game there also. But the A team, who for the Bulldogs to have a chance to yeah. lock a one seed had to lose to Banana Slugs, and that ain't A team is rolling <laughs> again, you know. We say this about this team every year. This they is come where in, they come in hot. This is where we put the slash. Yeah. Right? You know that what's that thing on a computer? Yeah. Slash? Yeah. This is where backslash. the slash comes. Backslash comes so, in right now. So we'll see, but you know. A team's looking strong. Look like they got a few new guys on there. They're looking strong. I think they may be the team to beat. I mean, they finished in first place this year. We'll see. We'll see. But we've always had that first round knockout, no matter where they I are they've been like, seated. They've been like the one or two seed for like three or four yeah, years. Yeah, and in they a row, usually right? get bounced pretty early. So early on. we'll see what happens with them. Well, we'll see. Uh, Park Ridge Fighting Owls. Fighting Owls. Defeat New Milford, and I think that game was called by one of the Bennett brothers. Uh, I think Joe okay. said that the yes. Parkwood Jows were going to win both games. Unfortunately, Unfortunately, that did not happen. As yeah, they the ran Ozone. into the Ozone with the other one. I believe they were uh, second place in, in touch this year. Another great team, you know, a shoot off of the of the uh, uh, the old militia. Mm -hmm. This team, uh, they came to play this year. They, and like speaking I said, about place. old man Jimmy and the militia, <laughs> there we go. They step up. Yeah. Now listen. Um, one of the players, number nine, I can't believe I forgot the guy's name, but I wanted to hang something back here All right. over the hump. Right. Remember I said the militia can't right, get right, over right. the hump? So he comes up to me, and at least he's letting us know that he's watching the show. Hey. He goes to me, he goes, Joe, today we go over the hump. All right. So I said, I'm going to put something up in the back. We, yeah. we just didn't get here soon enough to do that. But uh, they played, militia played, I'm going to say, probably one of the better games I've ever right. seen them play. Uh, Jimmy was Jimmy. All right. Uh, you know, yep, 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 yep. You know, and yeah. uh, got one flag thrown against him, went ballistic. Of course. Went, went nuts. Come on. That's how all these guys. But, but uh, and then that's it turned it. out that it was a good thing the flag was, uh, or the tag was right. made because the pass was picked. Oh. So suddenly he calmed down a little ah. bit. Uh, but yeah, Militia, good win over the Bulldogs. Bulldogs well, the, in the touch. The touch Bulldogs are having a pretty decent year too. They uh, six and two. They finished right. Yeah, six and two. Oh, I by the way, fourth I, I, place. and by the way, I found out what happened about that eighteen blowout. Oh, they had four guys. Ah. So I mean, even Hondo needs more than a yeah. couple to throw to. Oh wow. But the Bulldogs, you know, I, I guess the eighteen losing to the Banana Slugs was a long shot. Yeah, it was. That was. It so, really was. You know, and the eighteen team is humming this year. They're they're. I don't think the Bulldogs really, they didn't look very upset about losing this game. Yeah. You know, so, but I mean, just looking at this, uh, the first round matchups are really going to be pretty, well, we have them, don't we? Yeah, have we do have them right now. here. Okay. We're going to take care of that when we come back. So when we come back, this week's playoff this week games. games, yeah, quick and show let's this see, week, uh, right? Let's see what happens. But look at this, only two sheets of paper. We usually only got 27. Two. Yeah, yeah, usually I'm Throw the stats the out the window. That's right. Right? Playoff time. What did the coach of the Giants say? I don't know. McAdoo, statistics are for losers. Ooh. You win the game on the field. Good point. We'll be right. Go G-Men, too. Nice win. Yeah, baby. Nice win over Philadelphia. Yeah. Yeah. 
As restaurants come and go, it is rare to find an establishment like Steve's Sizzling Steaks. Steve's has focused on excellent food, comfortable ambiance, and a friendly staff. Time's sure have changed since Steve's first opened their doors, but what hasn't changed is the family atmosphere that makes Steve's so special. Open seven days a week, Sunday through Thursday, 11.30 a.m. to 10 p.m., and Friday and Saturday, 11.30 a.m. to 11 p.m. Located at 620 Route 17 South in Carlstad, New Jersey, or call 201-438-9677 for your reservation. And we're back, and uh, we're going to go. Now, this is uh, second round for the uh, for both. For eight on eight and yeah, six on six, both. yep. Yeah. So let's start at our old reliable turf field, Hackensack. Turf field, Orange Hasn't Lantern. Been too reliable lately no, not this lately. season. <laughs> uh, Orange Lantern and, and the, the Lightning. Lightning. Yeah. Both these teams had buys last week, um, but we've said it all season. Lightning aren't the Lightning right now. There's something missing. There's something off with them. Uh, I think they're going to have a, a long day out there with this orange line. Now, they won their last two to Lightning. Didn't they win their last yeah, two? Yeah, I, I believe they came in, you know, going into this, but they had off last week. But Orange Lantern, you know, I, what are they, fourth this year, uh, seeding-wise? Oh, they got a bad deal seed-wise, but yeah. they are fourth. And, uh, I, I, you know, I got to like the Orange Lantern in this game unless the yeah. Lightning get a big-time wake-up call. Yeah, or the Orange Lantern doesn't show up. If a lot of those guys don't show up, I think that's – Really the only way this year Lightning uh, are going to have a chance. Lightning, like I said, said it all season. Something's off with them. I don't know if there's a guy missing. Just something isn't right. Well, the Lantern had a close call in their last regular season game. They right. only beat the Yombies by three. Right. So Yombies I are a started, funny team. They're up and down. Again, you never yeah. know what you're going to get when you play them. You could, They could blow you out or they could get blown out very easy. Well, but Yombies either way, I, I got to like the Lantern in this yeah, game. Yeah, you got to go with the notice. Game. Yep. Uh, All-Stars, Wolf knows. Now, this potentially could be a better game than people think. It could be. This is a one be. versus uh, seven? I believe so, yes. Yeah. Okay, uh, but, you know, Wolf knows, we talked about them as an elite team early on. Yeah, you know, right? I, I, you know, we were looking at them as the old HOB, that they've been around, this is their time, you know, that it's just under new management, new name. But um, they, they, they struggled a little bit this year. Uh, I don't have the, their exact final stats, but I know they only had like three or four wins, it no. seemed. You know, it seemed like they lost a lot of games that they should have won. On paper, when you look at it, I know statistics are for losers. But anyway, on paper, it looked like this Wolf Nose team should have been in a lot more games. Um, should have been a higher seed. That You know, seven seed, you're talking only three. Maybe you got the four wins right there. So, yeah. But, yeah, I think uh, All-Stars all stars have something to prove from last season. Again, that was one of those teams I said that uh, was something was wrong with them, and they're going to come in this year and play with a chip on the shoulder, and they are in both well, divisions. Well, they continue their quest for their first for their first eight on eight, a whatever you want to whatever call it. Whatever you want to call it, yeah, full <laughs> contact. The full, there we go, full contact. Full contact. Yeah, yeah, they are looking for that, you know, and this could be that year, you know. The door is open. Kane's got a new quarterback. Uh, Express could be that wild card in all of this. You know, we'll Express, get down to we're going to get down to yeah. them in a bit, yeah. Okay, Deja Vu and the Cobras. Now, this game. This is a rematch of just, what, two weeks 35 ago? 35 30. Yes, Th yeah, 35 33, something with a very close game right in there. Mm -hmm. this, is, uh, this is a tough game to pick. This is a, these are two of the newer teams into the six on six division and uh cobras were in, were in the finals last in the spring um deja vu is much improved from last year now remember what we said uh when we talked about the final uh score of that game right we said that because they were going to meet each other in the first round maybe may, uh, and it happened yeah who's going to make the right adjustments in this game this is going to be interesting. I'm sure who's going to make you know? the right adjustments because that's what it's going to take. Somebody has to change something. Somebody does. I, I mean, mean, the Cobras feel like we won. We don't have to change anything. You know, that could be just so one play, just a drop pass and overthrow. That could just be that one play. That's very good. I'm point. sure these guys are going to go be going back watching these videos. Make sure you like the videos as you're watching. We'll go back Please, and watch let's them get again. some likes. Please yeah. watch them on a different computer. I'm getting too, tired so of get getting likes extra. from Australia. Right. So, yeah. but this should be, this is, I don't know, this is, uh, uh, well, I'll tell you this what. This is definitely a pick'em game out of, this is a pick'em game. Out of this pretty much I all can't. these this weekend. I think this is maybe that and Blazers Bears, maybe a pick'em, maybe, but, uh, yeah, this is a pick'em game. And I, th I'm going to go with the Cobras on this one, I believe. You know what? I'm going to, you know, I'm really, I'm not going to select a team in this game. Oh, come on. Yeah. All right. You know what? I'm going to go with Deja Vu. I think right. young enthusiasm. 
I think yeah, I think might this win is, out here. Um, this could be the game of the week, you know. Uh, hopefully, we'll get we'll get Mike or me or Tommy. will get out there and get all three of them. Tommy, teams. send me your games, will you, please? <laughs> I I got to do it on the air now, Mike, because yeah. he's not listening to anybody. Got to reach out through the media to get. Send to me guys. your games. You want? Listen, I'll tell you what. I'll send your check to Mike. There you go. In my name. Anywho. So, yeah, I'm taking Cobras. You're going to go Deja Vu? I'm going to go Deja Hopefully Vu. Hopefully we'll get this turf field for this game, you know? Yeah, so, this is So great. it can really be a nice, neutral kind of, don't worry about it, flat, fast. Now, now the track. first game was on a turf field. Was that not on a turf field? It was on grass. Which one? The first Deja Vu Cobra game. No, that was that got moved over to the, uh, ah, up the hill. Okay, so now now that's a factor, too. That is a factor. But both these teams are very fast. Uh, this is These two teams match up perfectly. This is almost what you would want in, in the final game, you know? Just I believe because these two match up perfectly. This is going to be a great game. This is a good game This to one watch. will get through. This one is going to be a good game to watch. Cross Some the street way. or next door. Over there. Warriors, Hawks. Interesting. Interesting. Hawks Warriors, still aren't scoring any points. They're not scoring any points, but um, I believe this is that, uh, what, that 4-5 matchup or 5-6 matchup They're right always here. good, those You know, this is that Warrior. Yeah. Warriors are... We've said it all year. The Warriors are the Warriors. Again, you know, the, the, the talk on the board. They haven't played the Canes, the Express, the All-Stars. They didn't play this. So we really don't know what, what kind of caliber these are. Okay, they're they're number one in the top, in the bottom five teams or something, you know. So we're going to see Hawks coming on towards the end of that season too, you know. Maybe not putting up the points, but stopping the other team. You know, I, and I want to correct something that we said. Okay. The Warriors ended up 5-3. and three. Okay. Not not the Bulldogs. The Bulldogs went four and four. So okay. the Warriors won that last week to okay. get the four seed. So this yes. is a four or five game. All right. You are right. So um, I'm going Warriors here only because they I think they have the ability to score. Now their defense is very good also. Yes. Okay. Yes. As proven by they were what two or three in defense. Yeah. Yeah. Or something, something that, like that. Yeah. They the were they four. were in the top. Yeah. So I think their defense is as good as the Hawks. Hawks got a good D, too. They do have a good D. But I think the Warriors' offense is just a little bit... Yeah, I think I'm going to go Warriors on this just mo more because I haven't seen much on the Hawks, know much about them. Um, you know, that that's how I got, I got to go by what I've seen, what I've, you know, what the chatter on the board is, you know, and piece it all together. And I really don't know much about the Hawks. So I'll go Warriors. So will I. Now, this next pick is going to hurt me. It's going to hurt me. <laughs> I tell you, the Bennett brothers remind me of those kids you see on the NFL commercials, like little kids. Yeah. Play football. Play football. Hey, man. That they should, if they got on their knees, they could they pass. Should. There you kids. go. But uh, All-Stars, Deadly Assassin. Guys, All-Stars, man, you're coming up to the cream now. Yeah. Um, and uh, you know what? If you find a way to stop late, then you got to find a way to stop. Uh, who else? Eddie. You got to find a way to stop Ali. Yeah. You got to find a way. To stop you, Titano. You gotta, yeah, you got to contain gotta, Titano. You got uh, Timmy's out there. I mean, this is... Oh, how can I forget Timmy? Yeah, I, this is not an easy, hey, we're just going to take that one guy out. Or maybe we'll take away this. No, this is a well-rounded team. This all is right. going to be tough. We, got, we stopped Robbie Lane. He caught three passes, but yeah. Albie caught 17. Exactly. <laughs> O'Connell caught 12. That's the know. one thing. They can go somewhere else if you shut that down. And, and, and Titano can make those adjustments. And Titano scrambles for 60 yards in this game. So, That's crazy. Guys, good luck. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go All-Stars, though. i got to go against our I have to go All-Stars also. Um, yeah, but, All Stars. Uh, I, I, but they, again, but I tell you what, and, I, and two weeks ago, three weeks ago, I did. They played in the regular season. Right. It was like a bad car wreck. Yeah. It was really ugly. But that happened to a lot of people. That well, that was against. that day that was like a 35 mile an hour win. Yeah, so but I, yeah, like uh, the, All Stars have really dismantled a lot. The backup of teams quarterback for the Assassins right. threw into the wind. The ball stopped in midair. <laughs> I'm telling you, it stopped. Uh, All right, Brookdale Park, the other my favorite great park. field. Yeah, this is a great park. park. This great is a great park. Great park to film. Good game, Sharkies, Blazers, and the Bears. And now, the Bears. the Bears can make believers out of a lot of people if they can pull this off. Yeah, um, this is tough. The fall seems to be when the Bears kind of hibernate. I know that's a horrible analogy, but uh, that's a but, that's not a good joke. Man. No, it wasn't. <laughs> You'll get the. I'm sure the the sound effect the went off. But the Bears. Will. It seems. I know that's all that came to my mind. I'm sorry. But in the spring, this team seems to really. They're one of those top four teams in the in the fall. These guys seem like they Fall run off more off bit. on their name and their and their past, like the spring, because they always come off of a, such a strong spring and a, such a strong showing in the spring. 
I think the Blazers are going to run up and down on this. Uh, maybe not. Oh, God. Bears are good on defense. They got some nice speed, great athletes, great corners and safeties. Look, with, with, the, with the Blazers, we know who their primary receiver is. Right. We know who it is. Right. You're going to Barry. Barry's their speed guy. Impossible to cover one-on-one. -on -one. I he really is. think he is. he's probably in the top three as far as trying to cover one-on-one. Yeah. On one. Very hard to do. Now, I, I, and I'm sorry, I, I don't have your name, number 32. That right. Guy. Now, he's a good, solid player. Oh, yeah. And uh, he just happened to have a bad day against Deja Vu. He dropped uh, two yeah. touchdown passes and one that might have gone for a touchdown. Maybe, so yeah. So you throw that out. Um, so, I, you know, the Blazers have a couple of guys they can go to. Uh, their big lineman uh, sneaks out every once in a right. while. And uh, so they have weapons other than Barry. Right. Yeah, they have weapons other than they Barry. They have a short game that they can work, and plus uh, Robbie Lane can run. We all know that. Um, you got you got, uh, they got Pat White jumping out or, you know, they slipping out. They got another out. receiver that did some work for us also that's very good. Did it film. Rob, I think his name is. Okay. Rob is a very good receiver, runs great routes, and he's got speed. Yeah. So, you know, if you, if you try to cover Barry, you're dead. If right. you try to double Barry, one of these other guys is going to step up yeah. and hurt you. So I don't envy the Bears as no. far as uh, having to play defense. But the Bears are going to score some points, too. They will. They will. And, uh, uh, yeah. But I don't. you know what? Yeah, I don't think it's going to be enough. Bears, as good as their defense is, I think the Blazers, they're always. I got to go Blazers, they, too. They lift up their game in the playoffs till the finals, usually. But, you know, this could, again. But uh, the Bears, it, the Bears be. will not go down easy. No, they won't go down easy. If, this they, is, if, this they, go, if they go down. Right. If they I, go down. Yeah, I don't know if I call it an upset if the Bears win, but I, I'm not going to be um, – I might be somewhat surprised, but not as an upset. You know what I mean? Um, Blazers. Canes, Bulldogs. Um, again, I got to actually do the can one, one of the right. Canes games and methodical. Yeah. That, that's the way I was. That's how they, they are. They got two losses this year, and one was to – the Express. Right. First game of the, of the year. to the All-Stars. Right. There you go. So, I mean, they lost to the top two teams, and they didn't get blown out in any of those right. games. Right. And that first loss against the Express, that was their first game with their new quarterback. So, maybe this is getting a little more solidified well, as they're Jay, going along. I, like I said, Jay, Jay is a very capable quarterback. Yeah, quarterback. he's been a quarterback he's in been this He's been around, league. you know, and, and I saw what they were doing with him on the sidelines. You know, they were coaching him, helping right. him out a little bit because Wally knows his receivers oh, like geez, the back geez. of his hand. So, he knew... They don't right. have to call a play. He just points and holds up a number to one of his receivers, there and they go. know. That's how it should but, be, right? Uh, and, and that's how it was because because Wally's been there since like dinosaurs. <laughs> Started. The but team. Um, I think that the, the Canes will handle the Bulldogs in this game. I think they will too. Bulldogs have a lot of uh, a lot of people. They have a big solid line, but so do the Canes. Canes have yeah. They have and it on both sides of the ball. This is a this is one of those. I've said it. This is a team. This is. They all play as a team. They all have one leadership. They follow them. They one guy's calling the plays. They don't scream at each other. This guy's play. These guys play as a team. Earl's still got them running. You know, he's running the show. And and, and I'll know, say this: the two Earl. X factors. The two X factors. Now we know the receivers on the Canes. Right. We know that what they can do. He's running. Back. The Bulldogs have Alfredo back. All right. And he said he's 100% healthy. Okay. So, uh, you know, that's dangerous. That is. That is. Um, that's your guy Oscar right there. Oscar will also be back for this game. All right. Yeah, I just. So, I think by the, the way, Oscar, I hope you enjoyed the Miami game. Yeah. You're a Jet fan. I hope yeah. you enjoyed it. Yeah, I think the Canes just, they bring too much, def especially defensively. Um, so, you can, you know, even if you want to. Bulldogs will at, hang for a while. They'll hang for a little bit. They'll hang but for a little while. But like I said, methodical. The Canes, yeah, the Canes, they, they, they've been here. They've done that. They, this is. This is just what if it comes down to a battle of field goals? Brad and Oscar, huh? Oh, That'd be something, that wouldn't it? No. That would be something. Would so be. we're both going Canes both in this game. Canes. Over to Watersing Park, Militia, Park Ridge Flighting Owls, uh, Militia. Yeah, I'm going to go Militia. Uh, again, one of the top teams usually in the, in, in the touch division. Owls new, new to this. Uh, you know, they'll come around. I Picked think so. Last week. Uh, I think so. But yeah, I but think the militia, militia takes care of it. Militia will, easy. if they play the way they played against the Bulldogs, uh, and the game right, right after them, Bulldogs and uh, New Milford. Yeah, I got to go Bulldogs. Uh, it's the same thing. Right, you know, same uh, thing. New teams. They're ready now. Uh, Hondo hits another gear when playoff time comes. Right. You know. so? He did not have his best game uh, last week in a final regular season game, but I'm going Bulldogs yeah. here. Oh, yeah. Central Field, Ozone, and the Banana Slugs finally get put out of their yeah, misery for the season. Yeah, Ozone, 
definitely has it. We'll have a nice top four, you know, for the for their second round of the touch. You know, we'll probably, mm -hmm. uh, like I said, it'll be the top four. You'll have the A team probably taking on yeah, the Yeah, the A team, the A team uh, will have a bye. Right, they have the bye this see. week, and, uh, and then we'll jump into their second round next week. Yeah, well, like I said, the Ozone, it'd be an interesting yeah. uh, matchup for yeah. the Ozone in the second week of their playoffs. And then another game that looks like it could be good. Looks like it could be good. Yes. I think you, you may get sucked in, in because the, the Bankers finished off the season well, had a great game. 35-0 uh, is a great game, but... This Express team is a little bit different than the Trojans. Yes, is a lot different than the Trojans. This is, uh, they're going to beat you up they're, and not care. Uh, they're going to come down. They're going to jam the ball down your throat. This is a, this team, you know, they took that uh, spring off last year, uh -huh. and it seems, whew. Well, listen, I'm going to say this about the bankers. Now, we, we kid around about the bankers. They can't close the game right. out of it. But they're not wussies. No, 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 no. They're not wussies. They got some beef on this team. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, and their quarterback is more than adequate. But Matt is just so, you know, it's like, here, spin the wheel. Right. And let's see we'll what see we what get. happens. That's what we get. And Express, we know what's going to happen there. They're yeah. going to beat you up on defense. They're going to hit you hard on defense. They're going to run at you with, with the magic. Yeah. Uh, and come on, son. Uh, yeah. It, he's there. They're going to be running there. You know, Hollywood uh, behind the helm still. I mean, he's... And they say, well, Hollywood can't throw the ball deep. Well, you know what? It doesn't have to. Yeah, it doesn't have to anymore. Dump it off to one of your two receivers. These guys will make to. the plays for you. His line is like he's got some guy, uh, the lineman from the yeah. old uh, Real good Shakers. Lineman. Yep. I got the got, Rizzos, they, right? They grabbed a couple of them from the Shakers. Not a merger. Remember? Acquisite. But I'll tell you what. <laughs> the Rizzo boys? Yeah. I'm telling you. The Express have a group, you know, they these beefed guys, up their these line. These guys are come serious, back. serious blockers. This and is, um... Yeah, Express, I think, are going to – this is going to be Express all day. They're going to show up in a bad mood and take it out on the Bankers, I think. I'm picking the Express, but the Bankers are going are, are gonna to fight for a part of this game. Part of it. If they don't – Part of it. Then they're going to give up the ghost. Yeah. And as we said, the A team has it. Has the bye, bye for their first week. round of the playoffs. So, uh, so we're starting to get into it a little bit now, uh, yeah. Mike. And, you know, realize that a week from tonight, we'll be talking about semifinals. Yes, we will. You know, and then our championship Sunday. Yeah. At Hackensack Not Field, too and they're going to they're going to get back that stadium announcer that does such a good job yeah. on chi on championship Sunday. But anyway, uh, they're not a lot of games, but the ones that they hear are Class Easy, A. Yeah, they're just getting better and better too each week. So if you're not playing, and uh, find a game that you want to check out. I mean, yeah. we got like uh, Deja Vu Cobras, great game. That's going to be a great game. Uh, yes. Great game. Um, Warriors and Hawks, another very good game. Yeah. Blazers Bears, good game. Canes Bulldogs could be a good game. I think the All Stars Wolf Nose is going to be a pretty good game too. You know, as a, as a spectator type uh, game to watch. Yeah, Tatano's going to be like a jockey on a horse. Yeah. Game. He's yeah, going to he be wants. galloping along. He will, I think. And then boom, hits the horse with the whip. Yes. And away they go. So, from Mikey McSee, Joey B, uh, another week in the books here on This Week in the ACFL. Right. And we're getting to the last couple of chapters. Yeah, we are. Book. Yeah, we are. Another season. Wow. Wow. Tommy, send me those game, <laughs> those game results. Have a good night. Enjoy the games. How you doing, people? Welcome to Raymond's Tires. My name is John. Just want to let you guys know we're open seven days a week. We've been in business for over 15 years. Our, our hours are from 8 to 7 every day. The only day we close is Christmas Day. Flat fixes start at $10. Balancing, $10. Used tires, $25 and up. New tires, if you purchase all four, you get everything included. Mounted, balance, wheel alignment, everything. Customer service is our number one priority. If you come to our place and you don't have what it takes to get done, we will give you the service at no charge because customer service, again, is our number one priority. Thank you for stopping by.